to stay inspired and I feel like every day is Groundhog's Day. So the focus of today's video is going to be on self-care. I have a bunch of things I want to do so I just decided I'm going to make sure I capture it all in this video. I want to put my nails on so I actually clip my natural nails down and I want to have a good base for when I put these nails on. I'm actually pretty nervous though because <laughs> I do not want to mess up so I just want to wait until the twins are gone and I can like focus on getting this done. I also want to take a bath this evening I got some new pajamas and I want to wax my eyebrows and wax some other stuff I got a lot of little things to do so I really hope you guys are up for a pick-me-up kind of video something smooth relaxing a little bit sexy all that good stuff <laughs> So with that being said, welcome to the video. If you haven't been here before, I'm Kristen. Thank you so much for joining me. Please put your star also in the comment section so I know you guys made it as well as hit the thumbs up button. But let's go ahead and get into it. I mentioned that I found these plants, these red grass plants, and I still haven't put them in the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in the ground real quick. I hate that I'm wearing this outfit, but I'm not in the mood to change clothes. So it is what it is. If it gets dirty, it's about to go in the washing machine anyway when I take my clothes off. But I'm about to put these four plants in the ground real fast because I want to get after the rest of my day and stop looking at these plants out the window. And I will say this, I do thoroughly enjoy planting flowers and I do feel like it actually does kind of relax me a little bit and make me feel good. So it's almost perfect for the whole self-care theme. The only caveat is I am not dressed right, okay? But baby, I don't care. Cause there's something about you And I want it I wish that I could get you off my mind But to tell the truth I don't know how Great, get me up on night It took so long y'all. I was regretting it every minute <laughs> that I hadn't already done it. The days earlier, it was so hot. So it would have been horrible trying to put them in a couple days ago. So today was perfect. It's really cool today. But I think it looks good. excited I'm about to smash the salad <laughs> we just went out to pick up salads and Brian wanted to get a brew or a beer so I got buzz balls and then I'm about to run my bath I'm so excited I cannot wait to get in the bath mmm and I can't wait to put on my new pajamas that I just got I told you guys I tried the onesie nation their pajamas I'm like addicted I only have three now. I bought one for my mom that I put in the mail, but I'm in love. I love their pajamas. I will say the ones I got this time, I didn't realize there was like a, a profane word on it. <laughs> so I won't be wearing that around the kids, but it's still cute. Brian will like it though. He will most definitely like it. So let me smash this salad though, and then I'm about to run this bath. Have you guys ever had Buzz Ball though? I really like them. <laughs> They're kind of like when you don't feel like drinking or making drinks, making like a mixed drink. It's a quick little drink. It's like a mixed drink basically in a little ball. That one tastes like Sprite. It's like a Sprite mixed drink. So good. I hope you like this. You may not like it. Mm. The sauce is a lot. Is oh, this good. drool from a dog on me? Could be. I think one of them drool on me. But no, you may not. You may or may not like these. It's got their sauce. I like the sauce. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you would probably like beat ups better just because that's, I know we like their sauce. Do you want to share something to drink? Um, you want one of those? Oh, I was like, I drink that. Oh, you already drink. Yeah, I have one in here. No, I don't want no juice. I have some extra chicken if you want it. You got a lot of chicken on yours. Dang. It's no kid night. Like, no, no kid. And we're about to have relaxation night. <laughs> It's gonna be like a night with kids. Do nothing. I'm about to have a self-care night. Okay. So I saw a meme and it was like, sitting in the car when you come home before you go in the house is self-care. I was like, it is for me because my brain sometimes, I feel like I think too much. So sometimes when I sit in the car, I'll, I'll process everything before I get out the car. And it's like the weirdest thing, but I've been doing it for years. Some people don't like that. They think you being sneaky. Well, really it's like, my brain is just, like processing everything. Yeah, you done that since day one. Yeah, I always have. It's just weird. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. Do you guys do that? Have you ever done it? Not really. Yeah, I have. But to each For, I've done it forever. Do you ever just sit and like process like what happened today or what you're dealing with for the week? Do you still pray for me? Oh, uh, yeah. When do you pray? Uh in the morning and whenever I eat. I remember in the morning you used to get up and you would read your Bible. Yeah. You would read like Psalms or mm -hmm. Proverbs. A proverb a day. Hmm? A proverb a day. Do you still do that? No. Oh, you stopped doing it once you got me? Because it impressed me? No. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> I think it was... When my iPad had died, because it was old, I couldn't oh. find a charger for the longest. Well, why don't you put the Bible on your new iPad? It is on there. Oh. Well. I just have to get back in the habit of doing it. Oh. That was a good habit. I can't carry this man. My hands are full. <laughs> It smells bomb. I'm about to sleep so good tonight, you guys. And then in the morning, I'm gonna wake up and do these nails. Oh my gosh, I needed this bath so bad. If you haven't ran a bath, self-care starts with a nice, hot bubble bath. I'm gonna need you to tell your little friends they got to go. You got to tell them they got to go. They on my side of the bed. Little friends, you got to go. You gotta go, little friend. You have got to go. Okay, okay. Down off of my bed. Get down. Get down. Get down. Oh my goodness. Tonight's pajamas. <laughs> They're cute, right? Cute. 
I did not realize Beyonce's video is on Disney Plus. That is so interesting. <laughs> have you guys watched it? We have not watched it yet, but we're about to. We're about to check this thing out. Let tomorrow be your second chance to prove that you are better than today and yesterday. The second half of this video, I'm going to focus on a little bit of tutorial to share with you how I did my nails as well as my eyebrows. I'm not an expert when it comes to either one of these traits. However, I'm going to just share with you what I did so that if you want to try to do it for yourself, you can. So basically, I buff my nails first and I'm adding this dehydrator, which is basically like a nail primer to my nails first. And then from this point, I am going to take the base coat and I'm going to apply it to my my real nails I'm gonna buff out the inside of the fake gel X nails and then I'm going to apply the base coat to the inside of the gel X nails as well and then I will press the acrylic nail to my real nail and hold it together and then I'm going to put it in the UV light so that it can cure the two together and when you do this your nails are going to feel almost as secure as if you went to the salon and they built up acrylic on your nails I say almost because while I do feel super secure it is just a tad bit not quite like acrylic so I will definitely say for the most part, you're gonna be able to tell these nails are not going anywhere, but I do wanna just mention that in case you've never done this for yourself. So it's actually pretty simple. I let the nails sit under the UV light for about 90 seconds once I got to the, the end point. But when I did each layer of the gel polish, I let them sit for about anywhere from 45 to 60 seconds per nail. So hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit. I'm gonna let you just kinda of watch me finish everything but overall it was really easy I feel like if I do this again it's gonna look even better when you do look up close to my nails you can kind of see some of the areas where I messed up a little bit when painting because I'm not the best with painting with my left hand on my right hand but we're gonna get there okay we will definitely get there purchase the all-purpose hard wax I get petite applicators for my eyebrows and then applicators that are a little larger for the rest of my body this is so simple I've been doing this for about 10 years since before I went back to get my MBA I wanted to save some money and this was something I thought I could do myself so I essentially just wax underneath I do not go too high into the eyebrow because I feel like you can always take off more later but you cannot put it back so it's real simple, you just apply it, you let it dry, and then you're going to pull your skin back a little bit because you want your skin to be tight, and then you're gonna grab the end and just snatch it off. It's so simple, you're gonna get those hairs right out of there, and you just are going to continue the process until you get all the way done. Now here, I think one thing that is important to mention, I am waxing to get these little hairs at the very end, but try not to double wax any section because you do not wanna irritate your face. The skin over your eyelid is extremely, extremely tender and you don't want it to be puffed up and inflamed after. So just be careful. The other thing is make sure the wax in the pot 
melt completely before you do this because if you try to use the wax before it's done, there'll be sections that are really, really hot as compared to the wax in other parts of the, the pot, which will be not as hot. So I think that's important too. And as you can see, the eyebrows look really, really good. We're gonna go ahead and do my right eyebrow now and just finish everything up. And like I said, this is so simple, you guys. Anybody can do this. You just have to have patience to learn and know exactly what you like. And the biggest thing is making sure you do it safely. Okay y'all, I just recently turned 21, so I have a little bit of hair that's starting to grow on the sides of my mouth. <laughs> y'all know I'm not 21, but I do have this hair that's starting to be kind of problematic. It's so annoying, so I do wax that. And I will say, the eyebrows don't hurt as much, but that hair right there, that hurt, it hurts so bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So the other thing I wanted to share with you guys is I have been journaling. I've mentioned this a couple times on my channels and it has been so helpful for me. So I encourage you, if you have not been journaling, if you don't write your thoughts down, start to do it. You just would be so amazed at how it helps you to process what you're thinking about in your head. The other thing I wanna share with you is I have been trying to be more active. It's been a slow start, but this week I have been doing more, doing the Peloton, meditation, anything I can do to just try to get myself off of my butt. Last week I also did a couple more rides than I normally would have done in a week. So I personally have just figured if I can start to build a habit doing the little things, I will begin to do these things more often without having to actively think about it. So I just encourage you guys, get more active, get off your butt and make it happen, okay? <laughs> When it comes to working out, there's always an excuse. It never feels right. There's always something else to do. But at the same time, especially in this current environment, I think it's terribly important for us to continue to take care of our bodies, to do the little things we can do to ensure that we are up to our most optimal health. So I decided to get my butt back on the bike, especially this week because we are doing a challenge with Peloton where you are supposed to do something active five days out of the seven day week. I have completed my challenge. I will say though, some of the days I did things like meditation, yoga, I did the bike, and I do feel good and I want to, you know, gradually get myself back to being at a place where I was on the bike earlier in this past year because this year I, I just haven't been going hard enough, you guys. Brian's been continuing to go, but I just feel like this is gonna be the thing that helps me reach the health goals that I have for myself, especially now. I'm taking my daily vitamin again, which I was doing and then I fell off, and I'm also taking vitamin C, which I've done that in my life on and off again. Even before surgery, they would always tell me, take your vitamin D, they'd tell me to go get a certain amount from the pharmacy so I could get rolling. So I'm like, if my surgeon knows that, if doctors know that, we should take advantage of that as well. So I just wanna encourage you guys, get healthy, get active, even if it's just going for walks, even if it's just going out for a run, walk your dog, do something to get off your butt and not be so sedentary.
I feel like now more than ever, we need to be focused on self-care. Especially being in the house, being isolated, having our kids feel like they need to wear masks. And I was thinking the other night how the whole mask situation and telling our kids to stay away from people and isolate, the types of things that could be in their heads and the fear that could be presented in our children. And even as an adult, I will say for myself, I've experienced fear this past week thinking about Brian going back to work tomorrow in person, Aries going to school and sharing a room with three other people. There's a lot of dynamics right now. And I think now more than ever, self-care is important and we should be making a point to do the things that we know are going to make us feel good. Last night, I made a point to watch The Secret before I went to bed and it was so amazing just to be refreshed by the principles that they teach inside of that show. They talk about how important it is to pay attention to your feelings and see how you feel because when you feel bad, it is a sign that you're thinking bad thoughts. And when you think good thoughts, could more good thoughts come to you and how important it is to stop yourself when you're thinking bad thoughts so that you do not end up in a state of depression. You do not end up in a cascade of negativity where you are now putting out into the world negative energy that is going to come back to you. So I think it's really important to stop yourself when you feel negative thoughts coming on and you feel overwhelmed by negativity to make a point to do the little things that are going to help you feel good again and for me, it's the things that I did in today's video. It's the working out on my Peloton because when you work out, you get those inner, the hormones and, and your body starts to do the things that are going to make it feel good. It's eating the things that make you feel good. It's spending time with people and your pets that make you feel good. Turn on some music. I actually have a playlist called my confidence playlist on iTunes and that playlist always puts me in a good a good mental space it makes me feel confident it makes me feel happy made me think about a time when i was actually going walking into my divorce from my previous marriage and i put on the song happy by pharrell and that song helped me get in a good mental place to walk into that room because that wasn't a fun situation, you know? But the song helped me get in a good mental place so that I could be on point for the negotiation that I had to go through in that room for that long day. So I just wanted to hopefully let this video be something that just reminds you if you are feeling bad, if you're thinking bad thoughts, if in the pit of your stomach you just don't feel good, if you think that things are starting to become overwhelming and your brain is just constantly processing like I talked about in today's video, take some time to stop and do the little things that are going to make you feel better. And I know for a lot of us, it's so easy to not get up every day and do the little things to get ready. But I do think getting ready is important because when you feel a certain way about how you look, it does bring your countenance up and it does make you feel better. So I'm not saying you gotta do that every day, but every once in a while, make a point to get up and get all the way dressed and to put your face on, do your hair, and do the little things that are going to uplift your spirit. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was so much fun making it. I've actually already edited most of the video and I absolutely love it. So I hope you guys do as well. If you have any topics or video ideas that you would like to see like this, you know, specific topics, I would love for you guys to comment in the comment section and let me know. But I am gonna go ahead and get up out of here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so you can continue to see content like this on my channel. I'm trying to take myself to the next level. I'm trying to continue to think about the things that I think could be beneficial and add value to your life. So I just wanted to say before I get up out of here, I appreciate you guys so much for being a support system for me as well and for continuing to support my channel and show me so much positivity and so much love. But before you get up out of here, please hit the like button as well as drop a star in the comment section so that I know you guys made it. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye-bye.